when god created mankind and this world his work did not end there it is true that he gave man a mind to think with and to chart a course that would be most suitable he knew that like little children in a class without a proper teacher man too would create chaos there would be some degeneration to keep control over the degeneration he decided to be personally present to direct man- mankind in the bhagavad gita fourth chapter 7th and 8th stotra shri krishna says yada yada hi dharmasya glanir bhavati bharata abhyutanam dharmasya tadatmanam srijamyaham paritranaay sadhunam vinashaya ch duskritam dharma samsthapanarthaya sambhavam yuge yuge o people of bharat whenever there is de- degeneration of thought and an increase in sin i shall incarnate in different forms i will protect and support the honest and virtuous people and destroy those who live in sin i shall incarnate era after era to establish right here's thought since the beginning of mankind there have been many incarnation of gods of these 108 incarnations hold special significance the 10 incarnation of vishnu are important since they have influenced present day thought and life of million of hindus worldwide the first incarnation of vishnu was in the form of a fish matsya at the end of the first era when brahma was reciting the vedas a demon haya grief stole them he took them to the bottom of the sea, sea and he did there where he felt nobody could reach vishnu then took the form of a fish matsya one day when manu vaivaswat was taking a bath along the bank a small fish leaped into his hands the fish pleaded for protection from the bigger fish in the sea in compassion vaivaswat took the fish home and put it in a jar soon the jar was too small for the fish so he changed the jar very soon this jar too was small for the fish vaivaswat changed several jars but the fish continued to grow then the fish requested him to put it back into the river just when it was leaving the fish warned vaivaswa that soon there would be a deluge that would destroy everything the fish asked vaivaswa to collect the seeds of all the plants and pears of all other living beings in a boat to protect them from the deluge he also told them that a fish would appear at the time of the deluge he should tie the boat to the fish using a serpent vasuki as a rope when the deluge came vaivaswat followed the instructions he tied the boat to the horn of the fish the fish dragged the boat to the top of the mountain now bund when the flood waters receded the boat came sliding down everything has been destroyed except the forms in the boat once again the process of creation began the second incarnation of vishnu was in the form of a giant tortoise kachap or kurm as the gods grew old and deceased they felt very anxious about their condition when they consulted vishnu about the problem they were advised to churn the ocean he said that by doing so they would earn they would find amrit the elixir of immortality the elixir of elixir of immortality and a lot of other valuable things too vishnu suggestion was appealing but the work seemed difficult to make the work easier the help of the asuras demons was sought the mountain mandara was to be churning rod and the serpent vasuki would serve as a rope the gods took hold of vasuki on one side and the asuras on the other however it did not work as the mountain kept sinking into the ocean so the churning could not be done it was then that vishnu took the form of kashyap a giant tortoise 
he got into the water and held the mountain on his back as the gods and the asuras churned the ocean finally the great treasures including amrit were found the third incarnation of vishnu was in the form of a boar varaha hiranyaksha and hiranyakashipu were twin brothers born to kashyap and diti hiranyaksha offered great sacrifices and prayers to brahma and as a reward received a boon from him thus armed hiranyaksha grew overconfident and oppressed the, the three worlds he dragged bhumi earth to the depths of the ocean enraged at this action vishnu decided to intervene in the incarnation of varaha he jumped into the ocean and lifting bhumi with the tusks brought her to the surface of the water bhumi then assumed her beautiful form varaha then fought hiranyaksha and killed him the fourth incarnation of vishnu was in the form of a half lion half man narasimha narasimha hiranyakashipu was en- enraged at vishnu hiranyakashipu was enraged at vishnu for having killed his twin brother hiranyaksha to avenge his brother's death hiranyakashipu offered great penance sacrifices and prayers to brahma who had earlier granted a boon to his brother pleased with him brahma granted him a boon to hiranya hiranya kashipu asked that he must be so protected that no god man or demon should be able to kill him having received this boon from brahma hiranya kashipu became old and arrogant he felt that the time was right to avenge his brother's death at the hands of vishnu he forbade others from praying to vishnu no one was even to take his name however hiranyakashipu's son prahlad was a great devotee of vishnu he refused to heed his father's orders hiranyakashipu tried all methods to compel his son to refrain from praying to vishnu he asked the teachers to explain matters to the boy he would use he used wild force he threatened him with wild elephants and poisonous snakes even fire could not frighten prahlad he survived all attempts to kill him excess exasperated at the failure to convince his own son not to offer prayers to vishnu in court one day he asked prahlad where vishnu was prahlad replied simply that vishnu resided in everything he could be found in all animate and inanimate things enraged at his son's response he has prahlad to summon him from a pillar in the court suddenly vishnu emerged as narsim after breaking the pillar he looked fearful as a half lion half man before hiranyakashipu could react narsim got hold of him flung him on the ground and tore his body apart heart intestines and all that ended yet another evil period the fifth incarnation of vishnu was in the form of vamana a son of kashyap and aditi bali was a bali was a demon king through penance and sacrifices he had attained a special power with this power he defeated indra and other gods and gained control over the three worlds unable to regain their kingdom from bali all the gods sought vishnu's help vishnu then incarnated as vaman a dwarf one day the dwarf vaman approached bali and begged that he be granted as much as land as he could cover in just three steps bali laughed when he saw the small feet of the dwarf he generously agreed to grant the request as soon as bali had agreed vaman began growing soon he became huge in one step he covered the whole earth and in the second he covered the heavens there was no left for there was no place left for the third step bali bent his head 
down so that Vaman could place his third step over it. Vamana pushed his foot down and sent Bali to Patal, the nether world, to rule there. With Vaman's help, Indra again began to rule the universe. The sixth incarnation of Vishnu was in the form of the sage Parashurama who destroyed the Kshatriya race. Parashurama was the fifth son of Jamadagni, a devoted student of the Vedas, and Renuka, the father of King Prasenjit. One day, when Jamadagni was very angry with his wife Renuka, one by one he ordered all his sons to kill her. The four elder sons refused. Parashuram beheaded his mother. Later, when Jamadagni's anger cooled, he asked what boon Parashuram desired for having followed his father's orders. Parashuram asked for his mother's life. Renuka was once again brought back to life. On another occasion, when King Katrivira, Katrivira and his party visited Jamadagni's hermitage, Seeking food and water, after hunting in the nearby forest, Jamadagni offered hospitality through his cow. The king and his party were deeply impressed with the cow. The king offered to buy it, but Jamadagni did not agree. The king offered 10 million cows in exchange for that one cow. He even offered half his kingdom, but Jamadagni did not budge. Finally, the king and his party the king and his party forcibly carried away the cow and its calf. Enraged, Jamadagni asked Parashuram to get the cow and calf back. There was a fierce battle between the king and Parashuram. In the battle, King Kartri, Kartrivir, Kartivirya, Kartivirya and many of his sons died. Parashuram brought back the cow and calf. Yet another time when Parashuram was away, some of King Kartivirya's sons attacked the hermitage and killed Jamadagni. When Parashuram returned, his mother Renuka told him what had happened. She beat her chest 21 times and jumped into her husband's funeral pile to end her life. To end her life. She, beat her, she beat her chest 21 times and jumped into her husband's funeral pyre to end her life. Enraged at this action of the king's son, Parashuram vowed to go around the world 21 times and destroy the Kshatriya race. It is believed that the world, the wild animals and evil people, it is believed that wild animals and evil people cannot be corrected just by overpowering them or through education or forgiveness. Therefore, Parashuram felt their destruction was the only way to end evil on earth. The seventh incarnation of Vishnu was in the form of Rama. He is referred to as Maryada Purushottam Ram, the supreme being with the highest moral conduct, the son of the Dratha, Dasharat and Kaushalya. The son of Dasharat and Kaushalya. Ram is a household word not only in India. Ram is a household word not only in India but in other countries too. The rendition of the Ramayana through Ram Leela, stage show of the epic Ramayana television serials and film has added to his popularity. Just when he was to be crowned king of Ayodhya, on the intervention of his stepmother Kaikeyi, Rama went into exile for 14 years. At the, end of his, at the end of this period, he killed Ravana for kidnapping Sita, which the demon king did in revenge for Lakshman, having insulted his sister by cutting off her nose. Ram was very capable and just king, who established Ram Rajya. Sage Valmiki has recorded his life in the epic Ramayana made up of 24,000 verses. It is a classic example of the conquest of evil by good. The eighth incarnation of Vishnu is Shri Krishna. Born as the eighth son of Vasudev and Devaki, he was brought up by foster parents Nand and Yashoda. 
along with his half brother Balarama in Gokul Kansa who then ruled at Mathura made several attempts to kill Krishna in but it went in vain ultimately Krishna killed Kansa as the central character of the epic mahabharata krishna always leaned towards the pandavas particularly arjuna just before the great battle when arjuna laid down his bow and refused to fight his own kith and kin krishna gave a discourse on the duties and responsibilities of human beings and how to choose the correct course of action the discourse is recorded in sanskrit in the form of a dialogue between krishna and arjuna in 700 verses divided into 18 chapters it is one of the most sacred hindu scriptures krishna is known for the moral guidance he provided he linked moral conduct not only with actions but also with one's objective in life after the great battle when All the Kaurava sons of Gandhari were killed. She blamed Krishna for the war and cursed that after 36 years the Yadava race would be destroyed and he would meet an unsung death. Krishna Leela serials and films on his life besides innumerable temples dedicated to him around the world keep alive the memory of his vibrant incarnation of of around the world keep alive this around the world keep alive the memory of this vibrant incarnation of vishnu the ninth incarnation of the vishnu was in the form of buddha he is known as gautam buddha son of king shudodhan shud shudodhan he spent his childhood under great protection and care but the first time he saw suffering and death he renounced the world later attained enlightenment and then spread the message of love peace and compassion the purpose of this incarnation was to spread the message of peace and non violence buddha preached that to be free from all worldly problems one must search for inner peace the practice and practice non violence his teachings gave rise to buddhism that is not only popular in india but has spread to other parts of the world the 10th incarnation of vishnu has yet to emerge it will be in the form of kalki who will emerge when degeneration peaks with the emergence of kalki the world would come to an end only good souls will survive once again a new world cycle will commence with the satya satyayu matsya avatar kurma avatar varaha avatar narasimha avatar vamana avatar परशुराम अवतार राम अवतार कृष्ण अवतार बुद्धा अवतार एंड कल्की अवतार दीज आर द टेन अवतार्स ऑफ महाविष्णु शुक्लांबरधर विष्णु शशिवर्ण चतुर्भुज प्रसन्न वदन ध्यानोपशा शाताकारम भुजगशयन पद्मनाभम सुशम विश्वाधारम गगन सदृश मेघवर्ण शुभांगं लक्ष्मीका कमलनयन योगिध्यानगम्य वंदे विष्णु भवभयर सर्वोकनाथ औषधे चिंत विष्णु भोजने चनादन शयने पद्मनाभम विवाहे च प्रजापति युद्धे चक्रधर देव प्रवास चिविक्रम नारायण तनुत्यागे श्रीधर प्रिय संगमे जलमध्ये वराहम च 
संकटे मधुसूदन काननने नारिंह च पावक जलशाइन जलमध्ये वराह च पर्वते रघुनंदन षोडशैता पठे सर्वपाप विनिर्मुक्त विष्णुलोके महीयते Coincidentally, Vishnu Stuti happens to be one of my favorite mantras. So let me present it here. Om Shuklam Baradharam Vishnum Shashi Varnam Chatur Bhujam Prasan Navadanam Dhyayet Sarva Vigno Pashantaye Shantakaram Bhujagashayanam Padmanabham Suresham विश्वादारम गगन सदृशम मेघवर्णम शुभांगम लक्ष्मीकांत कमलनयन योगिध्यानगम्यम वंदे विष्णु भवभयर सर्वोकनाथ वंदे विष्णु भवभयर सर्वोकनाथ औषधे चिंत विष्णु भोजने च जनादनम शयने पद्मनाभ विवाहे च प्रजापति युद्धे चक्रधर देव प्रवास चिविक्रम नारायण तनुत्यागे श्रीधर प्रिय संगमे दुस्वने स्मर गोविंद संकटे मधुसूदन काननने नारिंह च पावक जलशाइन जलमध्ये वराह च पर्वते रघुनंदन गमने वामन चर्वकु माधव षोडशैता यठे सर्वपापविनिर्मुक्त विष्णुलोके महीयते औषधे चिंत विष्णु सो दिस् पार्ट ऑफ द विष्णुस्तुति द षोडश नाम मीनिंग सिक्सटीन नेम्स ऑफ विष्णु एक्सप्लेन्स टू अर्स विच आर द डिफरेंट फॉर्म्स ऑफ विष्णु दैट वी मस्ट इन्वोक अपॉन ऑन द वेरियस फेसेट्स ऑफ आर लाइफ फॉर एग्जाम्पल औषधे चिंत विष्णु विच अवतार ऑफ महाविष्णु धन्वंतरी अवतार वाई धन्वंतरी अवतार वॉट इज दिस धन्वंतरी अवतार सो विष्णुस very sanatan avatar is dhanvantari avatar so the stotra goes this particular avatar is actually catching amrit or the aushadi in his hand and uh, this particular avatar is worshiped by both the gods as well as the asuras okay so namami dhanvantari maadi devam so we bow down to dhanvantari who is a aadi deva Who is he? Sura Sura Irvandi Tapada Padmam. His lotus feet is worshipped by both the Asuras as well as the. Here they have mentioned the word Sura, but it is more like the evil and the good. Everybody needs a cure. Loke Jararuk Bhayam Rutyu Nasham. So back then there was a pandemic like situation they say where the whole of the universe was infected with something very deadly and what vishnu did that time is he took the form of dhanvantari and he provided vividha aushadi like same roga but vividha aushadi he gave different different type of aushadhas to heal the particular roga that happened as a pandemic so it was like loke jararuk 
bhaya mrityo nasham so what was this roga it was very bhayanak it gave the fear of death it was fatal it gave the end of mankind fear and that time vishnu came in the avatar of dhanvantari and provided vivida aushadhi nam he gave different types of aushadhis for the mind to heal then bhojane janardhanam janardhanam he is the one who is thinking about the well being of the people we should remember him when we are having every one tuttu of food when you are having bhojane cha janardhanam shayane padmanabham cha one who is sleeping bhujaga shayanam vishnu is called bhujaga shayana because he is sleeping on his bhuja meaning his shoulders supporting his head so shayane padmanabham cha one who has a lotus in the nabhi or the solar plexus vivahe cha prajapatim in the matters of love and marriage who else is a better explanation than vishnu and lakshmi yuddhe chakra dharam devam one who is holding the sudarshan chakra he is the most powerful form of the weapon in the entire universe so yuddhe chakra dharam yuddha doesn't mean that it's only a fight yuddha also means the confusions of fights that happen within our mind whom should you who should you go sharanu to it is mahavishnu in the form when he sat on the geeta uh, on the chariot of arjuna when he was the charioteer of arjuna pravase cha trivikramam trivikrama avatar of vishnu in the trivikrama avatar he is lifting his one leg up to show that the entirety of the universe is him narayanam tanu tyage tanu meaning this body accumulation tanu meaning that which we have accumulated with our mind that tanu tyage when we have to drop this body we have to chant the divine name of narayana shridharam priya sanghame shridhara one who is dharan what we wear is called dharan shridhara one who has born shri meaning his feminine form we have to remember in priya sangame when we are not being successful in the matters of love then dusvapne smara govindam we get bad dreams we have to remember whom govinda govind i always teach this beautiful stotra which is believed to enhance our dopamine receptors what is it govinda govinda hare murare गोविंद गोविंद रतांग पाणे गोविंद गोविंद सुकुंद कृष्णा गोविंद गोविंद नमो नमस्ते सो दिस वपना हैपन्स बिकॉज ऑफ अवर लैक ऑफ डोपोमाइन और सेरोटोनिन हैप्पीनेस ऑक्सीटोसिन ऑल दीज हार्मोन्स and to bring rise up the hormones we need to remember govinda one who is filled with nanda like happy govin govinda we who is spending time with the cows the most innocent form of the creation sankate madhusudanam sankata meaning when we have lot of difficulties we say sankata bandaga venkataramana so venkataramana is also an avatar of vishnu so madhusudanam madhu one who is sweet sudhanam madhu meaning madhura one who is sweet sankate when we are in difficulty remember the beauty or the sweetness that krishna offered kanane narasimham cha kanane meaning in the forest when we are lost narasimha is the most fierce form the nara simha meaning one who is not a human not even a an animal he is in between like he has worn dharan he has done nara as well as simha avatar in one pavake jalashayinam pavake jalashayinam matsya avatar one who is uh, in the form of jala uh, who plays in the water <coughs> jala madhye varaham cha varaha avatar one who lifted up the entire mother earth he is varaha avatar what did he do he gave mukti to 
the two asuras and he freed mother earth from their clutches so jala madhye meaning when we are in pralaya when we are in difficulties when our breath is very high we need grounding so we need to remember varaha avatar because we think that grounding is only mother earth but even beyond mother earth is mahavishnu parvate raghunandanam raghunandanam means rama avatar he is the one who went into the forest into the hills and valleys dales meaning he has walked all the difficulties of life so parvate so parvate raghunandanam the happy child of the raghuvamsha he is shri rama gamane vamanan chaiva gamana meaning concentration whom should we remember vamana avatar you see that small sanyasi the five things that he has dharan the white color vastra the hair uh, the chatri like the umbrella in his hand all that is a significance the panchatatvas that he has done as a dharan and gamane vamanam chaiva meaning that one who has who held its concentration in the hair he ties his concentration so gamane vamanam chaiva sarva karyeshu madhavam we have to remember in all kinds of the uh, work we have to remember madhava and these 16 names are very very special shodashaitani shodash etani shodashaitani namani names prataruthaya yav patet when should we chant this early in the morning and what happens when we chant it every day sarva papa vinir mukto we get mukti from all our ill doings bad karmas and finally where do we reach vishnu loke mahiyate we are taken to the abode of vishnu the most safest form when we say vishnu abode of vishnu what does it mean where everything is taken care of vaikuntha is that place where you are happy you are fulfilled you have got all the things and that is given to you by vishnu without it's not like a loan it's not like you may feel guilty about it but you have such a deep devotion and surrenderance for lord vishnu and that is the moment of vaikuntha for you so now that we learned this once we will go through this you can just simply listen or meditate aushadhe chintaye dvishnum bhojane cha janardhanam shayane padmanabhancha विवाहे च प्रजापति युद्धे चक्रधर देव प्रवास चिविक्रम नारायण तनुत्यागे श्रीधर प्रिय संगमे दुस्वने स्मर गोविंद संकटे मधुसूधन काननने नारिंह च पावके जलशाइन जलमध्ये वराहंच पर्वते रघुनंदनम गमने वामनम चर्वकु माधव षोडशैता प्रातरुत्था यठे सर्व पाप विनिर्मुक्त विष्णु लोके महीयते सर्व पाप विनिर्मुक्त विष्णु लोके महीयते श्री कृष्णार्पणमस्तु राधे 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 राधे